There are over 100 million Americans that are suffering with liver disorders. That's almost one third of our population. And most people aren't even aware of it because they don't get tested, they don't see what's happening. These are just a fraction of the symptoms that we see. It doesn't always cause noticeable signs and symptoms, but skin and eyes that appear yellow, um, abdominal pain and swelling, swelling in the legs and ankles, itchy skin, dark urine, pale stool color, chronic fatigue, nausea or vomiting, loss of appetite, tendency to bruise easily. Every one of these things is so important to address. But look at uh, some of the different stages of liver damage. Okay, you have a good healthy liver and then liver disorder. If the liver isn't working right, that means your blood isn't getting cleansed, which means your cells aren't gonna get the right nutrition that they need. These are just some of the signs and symptoms of liver disorders. Okay, you can hit pause on the video and, and look at this. I'm not going to keep filming it here, but this is dramatic, all these different symptoms. I lay out nine primary causes of liver disease. There's probably more, uh, but from all the research I've done, this shows you just some of the many reasons why liver disorders are so prominent today. Obviously, everybody knows alcohol consumption is a big factor. So I'm going to list that as the number one factor, but non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has nothing to do with the alcohol consumption. It's all other factors, which I'm going to show you here. And then look at this, cirrhosis of the liver. So if your liver isn't functioning right, your blood is not going to get purified. The second biggest cause of liver disease that has nothing to do with alcohol is all the garbage food that people are eating. This is just a fraction of it, all the fast food, the sodas, the packaged foods, you name it, it's so prominent today. And then diet, okay, fried foods. Look at all this junk. Your body has to process this stuff. People need to be aware of it. Here's another one, number four, processed meats and factory farmed animal products. Do some research on it. Look up some YouTube videos and see how they process a lot of these animals. It is so disgusting that once most people see it, they would never even wanna eat fried food anymore if they saw what was really happening, okay? Here's another big thing, Hydro hydrogenated oils, trans fats and toxic oils. The worst oils that you can put into your body, corn oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, and canola oil. And what's really even more dramatic is that these oils were all genetically engineered. So we're dealing with GMOs on top of that, okay? Number six, and this is a big one, and this is in so many different foods. High fructose corn syrup. This actually comes right from the U.S. government. And what's underlined here is the prominence of what you see. Certain dietary sugars, particularly fructose, are suspected to contribute to the development of NAFLD and its progression. And then skip down. Growing evidence suggests that fructose contributes to the development and severity of NAFLD. In human studies, fructose is associated with increasing hepat hepatic fat inflammation and possibly fibrosis. So listen, you've got to take care of yourself. Number seven, and this is another big thing, prescription medications, over-the-counter drugs. A vast majority of this country is on prescription medicine and all of these medications. You can look up the resource info on it from either the internet or you can find the, the package insert from the drug companies and you're going to see a lot of side effects that actually list this. So that's not always a, an answer to get around it. But the drugs are seriously a major problem. Here's another thing a lot of people don't think about. Personal hygiene, cosmetics, and household cleaners. Just imagine all the chemicals in there. The deodorant, the toothpaste, the shampoo, everything that you're using. Okay, these are serious, serious problems. But here's one of the bigger ones. And this is on so many of the foods. Pesticides, Roundup being the worst one in the world. This comes right from the U.S. government. Uh, here's the headline, Roundup exposure promotes gills and liver impairments, DNA damage and inhibition of brain cholinergic activity in the Amazon teleost fish. So they tested it just with fish, but th this is just one article. There's a bunch of articles. You can put in uh, Roundup causes, side effects, USNIH, and you're gonna see a bunch of other government documents that validate that as well. But listen, Disease is like dominoes. You knock over the dominoes and they all fall down. If your liver, which takes care of the blood, which is linked to the immune system, the digestive system and everything else, is not taken care of properly, it can cause serious problems. So what do you do? 
you definitely need to focus on detoxifying. Look at the nine things that we talked about here. I know you can't easily make that change overnight, but you should start paying attention to some of those causes and do everything you can to make a difference. Okay. The other big thing, there are so many good nutritional products on the market. Herbal supplements are one of the best ways to protect your liver. I mean, look at this picture here on the right. One is a healthy liver, one is a toxic, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease disorder. It's, it's terrible. So here's some of the things that I would recommend. There's a handful of herbs. I can't get into every single one of them. Uh, this video is not long enough to do that, but berberine is one of the best on the market. Um, and we have a product that has berberine in it called liver detox. It's a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease disorder that currently lacks effective treatment. Um, however, berberine, a botanic compound isolated from traditional Chinese medicine, exhibits a potent therapeutic potential for the metabolic disease. You don't have to listen to me read all this here, but I just wanted to point this out to you. Berberine is amazing. Okay, phenomenal. Here's another great herb that you should be considering is or, uh, Oregon grape root, one of the best sources of berberine. And then there's also milk thistle. So many people know about milk thistle. We have a product with milk thistle in it with other combo herbs. However, we also have straight milk thistle. Um, I would highly recommend this for anybody. Listen, you could just do a, a detox program for two or three weeks. Um, you can stay on it for a while if you need to. It just depends on what you're doing. Dandelion, another absolutely amazing herbal product, one of the best herbal products in the world for detoxification, blood protection, and liver detoxification. It's actually in the product we carry. Yellow Dock Root, another phenomenal product. You can pause this video on every section and read the little reviews here that we have on all these herbs, but I would highly recommend them. Burdock Root, another phenomenal medication or not medication, but another phenomenal herbal product that you can use. Here's our liver detox product. Here's what it contains. I take this myself. I battled a serious case of metastatic melanoma and I required immunotherapy after three rounds of taking um, two forms of immunotherapy. I almost lost my liver and I needed to take products like this. Dandelion root. I sell dandelion root separately, but it's also in the liver detox product. And then here's the milk thistle. This product is amazing. I would highly recommend that as well. And then here's more information right from the own, our own USNIH. Um, these are just headlines. The efficacy of dandelion root extract in inducing apoptosis in drug-resistant human melanoma cells. Okay, this is just dandelion root. I can do research on every single one of these things. So anyway, just a brief video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all your uh, time. And I hope and pray that you will take advantage of these different products and this research here to battle a disease that is affecting over 100 million Americans. Thank you for watching.